from my side, good evening and welcome uh, to the NRF Awards for 2015. An evening where we not only acknowledge and celebrate uh, excellence in research, but it's also a time for us to just reflect and understand that the research is something that benefits present and future generations. As you have just uh, seen, the United Nations has designated 2015 as a year of light and light-based technologies, and it's rather fitting for South Africa at this particular time, especially since in recent years we've become a global hub for multi-wavelength astronomy, and we enjoy a long and successful track record of contributing to the global research agenda. when Africa meets India. Right, so our first category for 2015, uh, this is an attempt to acknowledge a full-time final year NRF-funded doctoral students, one male and one female, who have achieved outstanding academic performance and demonstrated the potential for contributing significantly to the national system of innovation. So this year, we have two awardees, uh, and they are Ms. Nasreen Peer, and Mr. Ethan Newman. So this award recognizes two PhD Sugar Grant holders, again, one male and one female, who have achieved exceptional research performance. So this year, the Research Excellence Award is go to Dr. Nuran Davis and Dr. Tobeko Ntuzi. So in our next category, um, this time around, assigned to researchers under the age of 35 who have held a doctorate or equivalent qualification for less than five years at the time of application, these researchers are considered likely to become future international leaders. So this year, 2015, the award goes to the one, the only Dr. Renette. Congratulations again on the, um, on the amazing achievement and the award. Um, being from an information company, I couldn't resist looking at some of the numbers of Renet's research, of Renet's research. And in no means do I want to you know, break it all down with a couple of numbers, but I did think it was interesting to show some of them because it's quite impressive. And the numbers speak for themselves. At this time, we are looking at excellence in science engagement. So this award recognizes individuals in the research community at South African higher education institutions and science councils who make outstanding contributions to public engagement with science over a sustained period. The aim of the award is to encourage academics while working in their fields to also contribute substantially and be committed to enhancing the public's engagement with science, technology and innovation. So this year, the Excellence in Science Engagement Award goes to Professor 
Marcus Byrne. Aerated researchers are unequivocally recognized by their peers as leading international scholars in their respective fields for the high quality and impact of recent research outputs. So we've got 28 in total that we want to acknowledge this evening. We've grouped them in different groups. So we're going to start off with those who unfortunately cannot be with us this evening. Let's look at our next group of A-rated scientists for 2015. Congratulations once again. Right, so let's have a look at our third group of A-rated scientists for 2015. So let's look at the next group of A-rated scientists. Remember they are 28, so this is our next group.
All right, the next group of researchers are all based at uh, national research facilities. Here they are. And then our last awardee for 2015 uh, is a person who has, since the inception of the A-rated system, has managed to retain the award. All right, so our next award is known as the Hamilton Naki Award, previously known as the Transformation of the Science Cohort. It recognizes an individual for outstanding efforts to advance his or her career in science and for achieving world-class research performance despite considerable equity challenges. This award was named after Mr. Hamilton Naki, a self-taught surgeon who developed his career against all odds. So for 2015, the Hamilton Naki Award goes to Professor Alan Christophers. So the next award acknowledges an individual for his or her contributions to the transformation of South Africa's community and landscape. The aim of this award is to encourage and promote this activity across the South African research community. So this year, the Champion of Research, Capacity Development and Transformation Award at South African Higher Education Institutions goes to Professor Chelitsi Marwala. The NRF has been reflecting on the NRF Awards function. And we realized that as the grant-making agency in the country, we had to give life and meaning to some of the values that we stand for. And one of the things that's not negotiable at the NRF is quality and excellence. In order to recognize quality and excellence, we decided that within the research landscape in South Africa, we need to create some form of identification, acknowledgement, affirmation and recognition of those research institutes of the country 
that have been able to increase their performance in terms of excellence. Now that is a tall order. But of course we called on our usual partners, which was Elsevier, Thomson Reuters, and our very own center of excellence, uh, headed by Professor Johan Moton uh, in Scientometrics, to provide us with an assessment of the research done over the last three to five years by various research institutions in the country to see how their performance has been ramped up. Ramped up. When we've gone through that exercise and we've received the assessments, we were able to come to a consensual decision as to which institution in the country, irrespective of what you do and how much you do, as Mr. Heineck has showed, it's about the quality of what you do that is important over the period of time. And in trying to reflect on this, say, what shall we call this award, I uh, sent an uh, email to Professor Mouton, and he said, you know, there's a wild idea, but I like the word acceleration, because it's about excellence and it's about performance. So they said, well, that's a good idea. So I'd like to acknowledge Johan Mouton for suggesting that as the name of the award. to have a little planet named after them. There are very few people who can claim to have a scholarly research publication in the prestigious journal Nature 66 years apart. So what started as a twinkle in the eye when he got married ended up Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, our lifetime achiever, Michael Feast. So I'll keep that for you if you want me to. I promise I will give it back. I promise I will. Are you going to give it to your wife? She deserves it. All right, so give it to your wife. I do feel pretty inadequate uh, standing here, um, partly because uh, the last time I was at one of these awards, um, the lifetime award was given to Philip Tobias. And... Uh, Philip Tobias was a great scientist. He was also a great public speaker. Uh, but uh, he, I hope uh, there's one thing I will try not to emulate him on, and that is that uh, he used to sometimes let his enthusiasm run away with him, <laughs> and he know, didn't know anything about time. <laughs> uh, I remember on that occasion, on that occasion, he began by saying, they tell me I have 10 minutes. Ah, oh, they don't know me. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But one, one feels inadequate uh, in, in view of the people who stood here before. Uh, and, but one also feels inadequate because one realizes how much one has depended throughout one's career on one's colleagues and one's collaborators. And um, that is, I've had some absolutely wonderful colleagues and collaborators, and, and uh, they really deserve most of the credit, I would say. One of my hopes is that uh, young South Africans going into science will get the thrill of belonging to an international community which cuts across cultures and races. I say races, although Philip Tobias told us there was no such thing. 
uh, and, and, and religions, nationalities, and so on. And uh, entering an international environment where one is judged just by one's merit. And that is a wonderful, thrilling thing for people to get into. Astronomy is ever widening. Um, and uh, for instance, the discovery of uh, complex molecules, some of them organic in space, and very recently uh, the discovery of organic molecules in a protoplanetary disk uh, show that we need to collaborate with, um, with chemists and biologists, and we need to see whether this organic matter is leading us somewhere to understand the origin of life in the universe, for instance. And um, um, it, it, it is absolutely essential that we, that we look for this collaboration, a real collaboration. I, I, would, I would predict that in the future, more and more uh, very important advances, really major advances in our understanding of the physical universe will come from these multidisciplinary collaborations. And I, I would just like to, to end by saying that as South African scientists, we should keep in mind these possibilities. Thank you very much. I believe if we can direct our attention to ensuring that we increase, particularly among young black people and young women, the capacity to carry out quality research, we will have altered the challenge of not having a representative scientific community on the African continent and in South Africa. So I urge you as we celebrate, and as I seek not to exceed Professor Tobias by any means, I urge you all to help us pay attention to this complex question of what do we do in order to ensure that these statistics which indicate a lack of representativity are actually changed. We met today as uh, cabinet members with the judiciary. And uh, I repeated to them a quote from Justice Ngobo, the former Chief Justice, who said that all of us, as different arms of state in South Africa, share a common vision. And that vision, which we all share, is to ensure that our country becomes a better country for all the people of South Africa. So let's make sure that science is an accessible, an accessible discipline, set of disciplines for all the young people of South Africa. Then we would have made a difference and I believe it's an achievable one. Thank you very much and my warm and sincere congratulations to all the awardees this evening and particularly to Professor Thies, to the Lifetime uh, Award Achiever. Most of you already know Thomson Reuters, you use our resources. Um, I want to say thank you very much. I'm absolutely grateful to be here. Unfortunately, it's Sneha Shah. Our MD was not able to be here tonight, and I'm representing her. I'd like to say thank you for allowing us to support you and to be partners in strengthening research in South Africa.